inside the cell. Once inside the cell, both metallic and organic mercury will be oxidized by catalysts and other common enzymes to the inorganic mercury form, mercury 2 plus, the final toxic species. Inorganic mercury, in the form of charged ions, does not pass through cell membranes and gets stuck inside the cell. Once that happens, it can only be eliminated by the active process of cellular excretion. Retention toxicity. It's impossible to say how long mercury stays in the body after exposure because each tissue responds differently. The half-life of elimination varies from tissue to tissue. Again, it depends upon the chemical species of mercury, the route of exposure, and the time course of exposure. An acute exposure, like a meal of high mercury swordfish, will create an elevated blood mercury level that dissipates within days to weeks. Acute exposure in blood has a half-life of 30 days. Long-term low-level exposure, like that created by daily occupational exposure or by the presence of amalgam fillings in the mouth, leads to a slow accumulation of mercury in all tissues of the body, including the kidneys, brain, endocrine glands, and the digestive tract. Mercury is a bioaccumulative toxin. Chronic exposure to brain, half-life is 30 years. An individual person's susceptibility to mercury an individual person's susceptibility to mercury toxicity depends on the many complex biochemical factors determining his or her ability to excrete this toxic element. As the tissue levels slowly go up, unpredictable toxic thresholds can be reached and toxic reactions begin to occur. This is what we mean by the concept of retention toxicity. Overall health. With its strong affinity for sulfur, mercury tends to bind to the sulfur amino acids that form the active sites of enzymes, making those enzymes inactive and non-functional. This has consequences at the level of overall health. When mercury binds to an enzyme, the enzyme no longer functions. 99% of enzymes have sulfur groups at the active site. For example, Mercury is known to bind to the energy-producing enzymes of the electron transport chain inside mitochondria and degrade a cell's ability to produce ATP. This can happen all over the body, affecting the muscles, the nervous system, the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. This is why one of the best-known symptoms of mercury toxicity is fatigue. Another prominent group of enzymes inactivated by mercury is the complex responsible for cellular excretion, the phase II conjugation enzymes. The result is that mercury poisons the cells and the body's ability to excrete mercury. Mercury creates its own retention by inactivating excretory enzymes. Array of Symptoms Properly diagnosing adverse health effects related to dental mercury amalgam fillings is impeded by the intricate list of potential responses to the elemental form of the substance, which include over 250 specific symptoms. However, some of the symptoms most commonly associated with inhalation of elemental mercury vapors include acridinia, anorexia, cardiovascular problems, cognitive impairments such as memory loss, delusions, skin problems, thyroid disruption, emotional instability, fatigue, headaches, hearing loss, immune system impairments, insomnia, decreased motor function, oral manifestations, psychological issues, kidney problems, respiratory problems, shyness, tremors, and weight loss.